Coming in with the W. Spellbreak. Have you had a chance to play it? Should you play Spellbreak? I'm playing well over a hundred games. And the one thing that I could say about this game is that it is riddled. There are so many bots in this game. There's so many like non-live player characters that you come across in the game that it makes it underwhelming you'll, you'll see people that will have like really high kills one i've come across numerous people who hack i posted a video uh, just the other day of a player who is without a doubt hacking literally does not miss an attack with ridiculous movement speed while people are moving back and forth and literally the person just doesn't miss and then on top of that you have like this huge amount of bots like literally there's just the weird thing, I don't know if it's programmed into the game, which is kind of underwhelming. It's like, then it just really means that there are not that many people per match, especially on, on the very large map. You typically, you typically will come across maybe five actual live players. I've come across numerous bro, uh, bots while I'm running around, basically gathering, and either they're people who are, who are just, I don't, I don't know what they're doing, like not even like people who just don't know what they do they don't even move they'll just sit there and either do like lightning light attacks at you or they'll try to hit you with like the they'll just pound um what's it called earth over and over and over again the weird thing too is you'll see them use their abilities and there's no cooldown on their abilities either you'll, you'll come across the bots and it'll do like that lightning aoe attack that that it that you can do and then it'll do it again like repetitively so not only do you come across like bots but then you'll come across like bots that are also of course scripted using some sort of a, a cheat engine for for whatever purposes i'm not sure exactly why but i come across numerous players or should i say numerous characters within the game within a match that are just straight up bots then the other thing that you have to contend with is of course the is of course the hackers and then of course the other thing that you have to contend with is the kind of imbalance between builds like if you run earth for the most part it's really easy to counter earth especially towards the end of the match because there's so many abilities that just keep you hovering in the air and you can just kind of sit there and rain down you know basically poison and fire on somebody and the person is literally stuck in the ground for the most part unless you can counter them with another sort of flight rune but then again it defeats the whole purpose of having earth you literally lose like half of your abilities to fight people who are constantly in the air especially if you don't have like for example maybe like a frost gauntlet or even a lightning gauntlet and your tracking isn't all that great primarily because they can sit so high up in the air that it really is to their advantage to kind of just kind of just sit there and just rain down aoe's constantly upon you especially with poison if they're a poison main they just spam aoe poisons it leaves ground slows and dots all you know basically all over the ground so there's really this sort of an imbalance typically for the most part you'll come across most people who are either running like uh toxicology and something else of their choice whether it's lightning or fire uh, depending upon their choice for the for the most part this is typically what i find or you find people that utilize air and air will just sit there and hold you in the air um, and then you come across people that utilize that and if you're running an earth build for example then you're kind of shit out of luck because most of your damage is going to come from when you're on the ground and if you can't force your opponent back to the ground then you're just asked out just, just what it is even if you're running lightning the lightning aoe doesn't it's not basically a pillar all the way up in the sky it only covers so much of this it only covers so much of the air so if you're fighting someone and they're really high up then it makes it a little bit harder to, of course, knock them out of the air. And that's kind of the disparity that I found within the game fighting certain players. Come in first a couple of times, it's okay. When you come across bots, it kind of like, they're just like running pinatas. The weird thing too is that they're full of gear for the most part. They run around and grab gear, but then don't defend themselves. So like having like the first kill or third kill, you can come across someone with multi kills, but then most of them are just bots. So it kind of makes it like not really fun to see where you're at from, you know, skill wise. It's, it's a weird sort of game design to have 
all of your abilities basically be ground abilities, but then like the vast majority of the combat takes place in the air. It's real easy, especially if you're running Earth, you can just literally jump over the, uh, you can just literally jump over the Earth attack. Now, of course, you can pair it with something like lightning, where if the person is not 100% stuck in the air, you're able to strategically, hopefully, land a good lightning and to get them to fall to the ground to basically come back down uh, for some decent damage. But of course, your, your aim, of course, has to be on point. But it's like to do that when there's so many much easier, more friendly, uh, more friendly builds, it kind of defeat the purpose of running an Earth build. Again, most of the time, I don't come across that many people that do run Earth. And even the people who I watch that stream typically don't run Earth either, even though they say it's OP, uh, but yet they themselves typically don't run it. Most of them run aerial builds, like, for example, ice, trying to snipe people from across the map. The other thing, of course, is that there's no real in-game report. So if you come across someone that's kind of suspect, and I've come across many, many people who aim is just a little suspect, where you're light of sighted and invisible and you're still light attack spamming me and pulling me out of cloak and i mean not just once but like several times become it begins it becomes it becomes a little suspect and of course there's no real in-game report unless like what i did yesterday was i recorded the person playing and it was it looked rather obvious that the person was hacking they had like 19 20 kills and literally the person was using air and just did not miss a single hit they were running air and poison. I don't think I saw the person miss in the two minutes that I was watching them. They got six kills. I think I saw him miss maybe once or twice. Um, and that was because the person dashed out of the way. So you come across that makes, of course, for an unfair sort of uh, sort of game. And of course, the fights are few and far between. So if you come across someone that's a little sus suspect in the very beginning, then you kind of have to follow them throughout the match and the fights become a little few and far between few and far between until you kind of get to the end and then the report mechanic is really just an avoid mechanic it just doesn't pair you with that person who knows if it works or not basically my take i think i've played what over 130 games let me see how many games have we played what does it show here we go so we played a total of 124 matches, 30 of them were squad. The vast majority of my experience has been in, so has been in solo, currently rank 18. So, excuse me. So typically what, you'll come, typically what you'll come across in this game, it's okay. It has some fundamental issues. And I think if they can get rid of the bots, kind of put, put the kibosh, on some of the suspect players who i mean you can just youtube spell break hackers hack hacking and you'll come across people with the speed animation unlimited basically um unlimited magicka whatever whatever it's called every time you use your your left or right click it basically drains a portion of your resources and then it basically goes on cooldown your character will do this sort of like recharge animation and you'll come across people that just seem to never run out of resources even while they're floating without of course that little levitate you know they're actually using their space button to kind of float them in the air while attacking and never stopping so i've come across a couple of people like that and again it's real easy to find like cheats sort of for the game because a lot of your damage revolves around just left click so you're you can be like was that guy hacking did he just get lucky and track me like 100 percent of the time as i'm teleporting and dashing back and forth and losing was his aim that good it's like to sit there and have to go through and watch them throughout that whole time to find out if there if there was and on top of that there's no report mechanic there's no real report mechanic it's just an avoid mechanic so I wish they would address some of these things, some of these things, and of course, some of the build, some of the build disparities between like ground-based builds and then of course air-based build. They deal like so much damage, very comparable damage, especially because you can pair them with other things and basically nullifying half of your build, especially when it comes to the very end of the match and you're getting towards the nitty-gritty of the last couple of players, and you maybe have, fortunately happen to make it 
as a, as an earth player, you're really at a disadvantage as you primarily get stuck on the ground. I mean, and hope, hopefully you have some sort of good tracking with either lightning or fire and some sort of a rune to basically keep you in the air because the most most of the players that I come across are typically running air and poison or poison and uh, toxicology and fire I should say that's just basically my my take on the game so far I do enjoy it but it's got a lot of fundamental issues that I do hope that they work on